Dive deep into the mysteries of Saturn's largest moon, Titan, as NASA's Dragonfly mission prepares to send a pioneering drone to explore its alien shores. Envision a world where rivers and lakes are made of methane and the skies shroud secrets about the potential for life beyond Earth. Set for 2034, Dragonfly will journey a billion miles to test its wings in Titan's dense, nitrogen-rich atmosphere, offering us unprecedented insights into organic chemistry and the conditions that may harbor life. Join us as we unravel the story of this groundbreaking mission and what it could mean for our understanding of life in the cosmos. When we think about space missions, rovers on Mars or voyages to the moon might spring to mind. But Dragonfly is something entirely different, a rotorcraft akin to a drone designed to fly in the thick atmosphere of Titan, Saturn's most intriguing moon. This mission, set to launch in 2028 and arrive in 2034, is audacious in its scope and innovative in its design. Dragonfly is equipped with eight rotors, making it capable of vertical takeoff and landing. Its design is crucial because Titan's atmosphere is four times denser than Earth's, and its gravity is about one-seventh that of Earth's, which actually aids flight. However, Titan is also cold, extremely cold, with surface temperatures around minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit which poses significant challenges for mechanical and electronic systems. To navigate this alien landscape, Dragonfly will use a suite of scientific instruments to measure atmospheric and surface compositions, detect organic compounds, and even weather patterns. This data will help scientists on Earth understand whether Titan could support life or how organic molecules interact in its surface conditions. Powered by a multi-mission radioisotope thermoelectric generator, MMRTG, Dragonfly will have the energy needed to carry out extended missions far from the sun's warmth. The craft will autonomously conduct flights across the Titan landscape, traveling dozens of kilometers at a stretch before landing to perform in-depth analyses of various sites. This autonomous navigation is made possible by advanced algorithms developed from Mars rover missions but adapted for Titan's unique environment, where a signal delay means waiting over an hour for a round-trip communication with Earth. Titan is unlike any other place in the solar system. With its thick atmosphere rich in nitrogen and methane, liquid hydrocarbon lakes, and a possible subsurface water ocean, it presents conditions that are in some ways reminiscent of early Earth. This makes Titan a prime target for investigating prebiotic chemistry, the study of the building blocks of life before life actually begins. The Dragonfly mission aims to explore these conditions by performing a wide array of scientific experiments designed to unravel the complex organic chemistry of this moon. The rotorcraft will sample surface materials and atmospheres, analyze them using onboard instruments, and send data back to Earth, which could provide insights into the potential for life in similar conditions elsewhere in the cosmos. Importantly, Dragonfly will investigate the molecular compositions of Titan's environment to understand how organic molecules are produced and processed on Titan. This includes studying the methane cycle, analogous to Earth's water cycle, but with methane forming clouds, rain, and lakes, creating a landscape that is both familiar and alien. The Dragonfly mission embodies the spirit of exploration by not just visiting an alien world, but by attempting to fly across its skies, a feat not yet attempted on any other planet or moon, except by the small Ingenuity helicopter on Mars, which itself 
was a technological demonstrator. One of the most formidable challenges is the extreme cold, which can incapacitate electronic devices and freeze mechanical parts. To address this, NASA engineers have developed specialized insulation and heating systems to keep Dragonfly's instruments and rotors operational in Titan's frigid climate. Communication is another challenge. With Titan being over a billion miles from Earth, it takes more than an hour for a message to travel each way between Earth and Titan. Therefore, Dragonfly must operate autonomously for most of its mission. This requires sophisticated onboard AI capable of making real-time decisions during flight to avoid hazards, manage energy use, and select scientific targets, all without real-time input from Earth. Moreover, the rotorcraft must handle Titan's rugged terrain, from vast dunes to potentially sticky hydrocarbon muds. The materials and technologies developed for Dragonfly's wheels and landing systems are cutting edge, designed to be robust against all that Titan has to offer. Together, these challenges necessitate a level of innovation akin to designing a mission to another star. Dragonfly isn't just a mission to another celestial body. It's a pioneering venture into how we explore the outer solar system, pushing the boundaries of our technological capabilities and our understanding of life's potential in the universe. Thank you for joining us on this journey to the edges of our solar system. The Dragonfly mission to Titan represents more than just scientific curiosity. It's a testament to human perseverance and the endless quest for knowledge. As we await the launch in 2034, each discovery will build our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. Stay curious and keep looking up, for each answer we find opens the door to a thousand new questions. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more introducing new subjects. See you next time.